All right, right, everyone, welcome back to our weekly Facebook Live. Thanks for joining us. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Amy Horneman. I'm a functional medicine practitioner specializing in treating thyroid conditions. And this week, super cool. We have an amazing special guest joining us. So you need to stay tuned. This is Matt Probonic. He is a nationally certified personal trainer with over 15 years of experience helping people reach their goal of better living. He's the co-owner and creator of IROC Fitness, Fitness U, Iron Oxygen Fitness, and Level Red Boxing, all of which I have memberships to, love going to. It kicks my butt. So thank you so much, Matt, for joining us. How are you doing? Really good today. It's Monday, so we're uh, we're in full full force. It's crazy around here. Everyone's getting back into it. But uh, great to be back. Great to be out of the out of the COVID shutdown, and uh, we've had. Tons of meetings today with our staff and everybody like that, just getting everybody ready to go. So it's going great. But the best thing is, uh, is that, um, you know, we're back up and running at IROC Fitness. A lot of people are coming back in, especially the um, IROC Fitness is level red boxing with tremendous fitness goals. Everyone's trying to get rid of the weight that they gain during the downtime and transfer back from doing the, the at-home workouts into more of the studio workouts and they're doing that in combination. So they're doing like the studio workouts and they're doing the at-home workouts. So ton of people got into biking, ton of people got into running. It's just, it's been crazy. And it's so great that you offer the online workouts to people to get them through the shutdown too. So that was some, something just fantastic that you offered to your members. That was great. And today we're going to be diving into why exercising in the morning is better. You're going to be giving us client examples and all of your knowledge. And I think this can apply to people, whether you are at home or your gyms are open and you're back in the gym. Yeah. I mean, the, um, the whole, the, the, the working out at home and, you know, people are, people are actively trying to lose weight and that's at IROC, especially that's what we're really, really always trying to help people with is, losing weight, getting, getting, or maintaining a weight. That's kind of what we've always been about at IROC is high intensity interval training, high calorie burn, full body, high intensity workouts. And it works. And uh, the big part of the reason why we're here today is to talk about the tricks um, of, of, of really using fat as energy. And you and I have talked off camera so often. We've done a lot together and we've talked a lot about the benefits of working out a in the morning and then be in a fasted state. So let's dive into that just a little bit and tell me your thoughts. I really want you to be the guest expert here. So I'll, I'll chime in here and there, but what are your thoughts about the benefits of working out in the morning and then also in a fasted state? Well, Amy, I learned a lot from you about, you know, hormonally why it makes sense to work out in the morning. And I think the big thing that that pushed me over the edge for exercising in the morning is that I was having less success working out throughout the latter part of the day, just because things were just getting in the way. It wasn't efficient. I didn't feel extremely energetic. My, my, I have 10 to 12 hour days where I'm working with people and um, I have a four year old daughter and, you know, I just was working out at five thirty, six o'clock for me is kind of prime time for us. And if you have a family and if you, you finish work at five, it, it, it kind of isn't fair to your family to work out from 5.30 to 6.30, especially when the weather's like it is now and you want to get home and you know go in the backyard and just wind down. So first and foremost, apart from losing weight or anything, I'd have to say that working out in the morning, waking up earlier in the morning, going to bed earlier at night changed my life. And, and I've always been afraid of waking up early in the morning of fear of feeling tired earlier because I'm a prime time person. I'm, I'm usually in front of people until seven o'clock at night. And I was afraid of hitting the wall. And I, I've just experienced a tremendous uh, change from, from working out in the morning, waking up earlier in the morning and getting it done just for time. 
And it really does change your life. I mean, we're not even joking when we say change your life, because just like you said, Matt, it has a hormonal effect on the body. So we see growth hormone increase. We see for men, testosterone increase, and we just see the body get into a better fat burning state. And then of course, there's the mental aspect, like you said, of just more clarity, more energy for the day. And then the mental aspect of more time with your family at the end of the day. So you're not drudging through your day thinking, oh, I still have to go to the gym. For some people, listen, that's their schedule. That's what they have to do. But what would you say for the people that can work out in the morning? They're just hitting the snooze button. Well, at Level Red Boxing and IROC Fitness, you have to make an appointment. So you have to book your spot. And that alone is a huge motivator. If, if you cancel your class within 24 hours of your booking, you get charged $5 because somebody couldn't book in. Mm -hmm. And it's not really the $5 that keeps people coming in. It's just the, it, they've taken that action of committing to that spot. Like they're in, they booked it, they're going to do it. We allow our members to book two weeks in advance. So it really is as an adult, you need to put yourself in a position where you are committing, whether that means spending $100 on a new pair of running shoes and being excited to use them or paying, you know, $79 a month for a level red boxing membership and being like, hey, you know what? It, like I'm paying for this thing. I'm booking the classes. I'm going to do it. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to make it there. Those those factors, just the investment is huge. But what I've what I've noticed with our clients and, and a big part of the reason why I have bought into the, the eating window uh, thing, like, you know, intermittent fasting and, and fitness in the mornings is because I know that your I, I know that when you when you exercise in the morning, you're going to experience faster change in your body composition. Our members who exercise in the morning generally see weight loss faster than our members who exercise it later in the afternoon after they've eaten a few meals. So the tremendous difference is in that getting involved, like you're in the you're in the snooze button, but you have to think about what your fitness goals are and you have to want it. And, and if those things all match up and measure up, if your motivation is there, if you've committed, if you've bought the running shoes. If you have a coach like me ready to go waiting for you, and if you've booked into that class, you're going to be successful. But if you're just counting on yourself to go into the basement and go on the dusty treadmill or, or go to the gym and, and walk into a big gym and work out on your own, I'm, a, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm afraid, but I don't think it's going to work for you. I really don't think your success rate is going to be very good for a long time. You may be okay for six months, but it very few people – very few people are successful year after year working out on their own with nobody around, with no, with no motivation, with no class booking. Your, your frequency, your intensity, and your time exercised will be greater when you're involved in a program and you are in a structured regimen with a booking and, a, and, a, and you're paying something per month. It just, it just all adds up, you know, and I'm, I don't care where you go. But if you hire a personal trainer to come to your home and they're waiting on you at your front door at five o'clock in the morning, that's going to work. But yeah. what doesn't work is just me and you. There's days where I don't have an appointment or anything to do. I wake up every day at 445. But that if I don't have anything to do at six o'clock, I'll hit the snooze button. I'll do it. You know, yeah. and if, if I don't have an appointment time, if I don't have a workout time, if I don't have something to do, I'll just I'll just, especially in the wintertime. And so, it's that accountability. You know, you're accountable yeah. to, to show up for somebody else. You're mm -hmm. they they block that time out of their schedule for you. So now you're accountable to mm -hmm. show up for them. And the big thing I would encourage everybody on today, and we we said, Amy, that we were gonna try to keep this thing to like 20 minutes just to just to make it easy for people to get as much info as they can from us in this short amount of time. Is the number one takeaway is book yourself with early morning appointments. Book yourself with people to talk to, places to go, places to be. And, and if, you, if you book yourself an appointment, a workout time, phone calls, it, where somebody's expecting you to be there, even if it's to go dedicate time to, to the city mission or something, 
it will change your life. But if you don't book anything in the morning and you're just going to wake up and you're going to go outside and run no matter what the weather condition is like, it, it, that's not a good plan. It's not realistic because we want to go for 100% success. So the big part of the reason why our uh, the big part of the reason why I inherited the the intermittent fasting um, for myself was because the the I was it was it's it's advertised that it gives you more clarity with memory, and because of all of the projects that we have going on and the things I have to remember, I felt like I needed more clarity. So I needed to figure this whole thing out. So I started going for like 14 hour fast and try not to eat for 14 hours. So I would stop eating at nine o'clock at night. And then I would start eating the next day at 11 AM. And that turned into like stopping eating at 7 PM. And then I was able to eat a little bit earlier in the day following my workouts and my morning stuff. And I bought into it. It scared me. It took like a lot of courage because I had never fasted before. And I also wasn't a morning person. And I also didn't ever exercise. I never exercised at six o'clock in the morning ever. So it was all a big change, but I literally day one, I felt so relieved. Like my whole day was opened up because I had gotten my exercise, all my personal stuff, my meditation done in the morning. And I invested into that fast and I, I found myself eating better throughout the day because I had invested in the fast. I was more, I was more conscientious of my nutrition because I had just really put together like that period of time where I was a little bit uncomfortable and I was thinking about food, but like I knew that it was going to benefit me. And I lost, I lost 12 pounds in, in 30 days and, and, uh, it was huge for me. So I immediately started recommending it to our customers. Are, are you just the eating window? No, not, not food specifically, but just the eating window. And sure enough, our members started really responding to it. We had members who were losing, you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 pounds a month. And when you run a program like mine and you have members joining to lose weight and they're not losing weight and they're exercising really hard you get to the point where you're like, I know exercise works. What is the problem? Like, why are people eating so, so poorly that their bodies are not using fat as energy? And what I found is that we, um, we just eat too many, um, grams of carbohydrates a day, you know, before exercise, especially. So when you have all that glycogen in your, your, your body's not going to use fat as energy unless you're in a sugar fasted state. And eating all day and trying not to eat sugar is really, really difficult because that limits you to vegetables and protein. And many of us work eight to 10 hours a day. And it's, that's really hard to do, prepare food for all day, like chopped chicken and salads. Like most people have so much going on. You run out of the house in the morning with a cup of coffee and then you're trying to eat at your work, you know, kitchen, or you're trying to order out. And it's too hard to cut down on that many grams of sugar so you can burn fat later in the day during your workout. It, typically, it just doesn't happen. So you get all that metabolic stuff done in the morning. Like you, you, you do your workout and you do all your personal things before your actual day starts. And then you eat well throughout the day. And then that's it. And, and that just changed the game for so many of our clients. And maybe you could elaborate, Amy, on a little bit of like why why that actually happens, like what, what the process of, of your body's fat usage, what that looks like. Cause I think people really need to understand like how fat is utilized, how right. fat is metabolized and, and, um, and also the, the, the process that happens at night um, with fat loss while you sleep into detoxification. Right. So just like you said, Matt, when people start to start a new workout routine, right? They automatically have it in their head. Oh my gosh, I have to have fuel in my body. So they eat something before they go to the gym to work out. Now at that point, your body is living off that fuel. And most of the time it is some form of carbohydrate, or like you said, sugar that people are consuming, and then they go to the gym. So if you think about it, like a storage vat, they fill up their storage vat and then they're at the gym and they're just taking from that storage vat instead of from their own fat stores, which is a great source of fuel. And listen, we all have them and we have enough to get through an hour workout with. You don't need to eat before you walk in the gym. We all, I mean, 
even you and I have enough fat to get through a one hour workout. So True. I think going, mm -hmm. you know, going into the gym in that fasted state, it sets your body up to tap into those fat stores to get you through that workout. It mm -hmm. also, like we said earlier, you get a growth hormone release. So for those of you who don't know what growth hormone is, that's your anti-aging hormone. That's what's going to burn fat. That's what's going to build muscle. That's what's going to keep you young. You get a little bit of a growth hormone release. And then and you do get increased testosterone, whether you're male or female, of course, more for the men, but even females, we want to build lean muscle. You don't want to go in to the gym and be a cardio queen and walk out and then consume, you know, a bagel and an apple. You want to go in and you want to build some lean muscle so that when you leave, you're actually burning more fat for the rest of the day. And of course you can expand on that as well, but switching from being a sugar burner to a fat burner is not that hard to do. And like you said earlier, Matt, sometimes it just starts with that one baby step mm -hmm. of limiting your eating window, mm -hmm. practicing some intermittent fasting and getting a workout in, in the morning in a fasted state. And those little baby steps alone start you on that process to being a more efficient fat burner. I almost feel in, uh, in my experience is that many, many people still are over-exercising. So the National Academy of Sports Medicine recommends that you exercise for 150 minutes a week. Now, that's not a lot. There are a lot of people who are 20, 30, 40 pounds overweight, and they're exercising far greater than 150 minutes a week. 150 minutes a week is not a lot. So you have to ask yourself, um, you know, am I really helping my body by exercising more? I mean, I know I feel good from exercise, but what is overtraining? Overtraining happens so very easily. So does dehydration. And to be a 35 or 45 or 55 or 65 year old person and be overtrained and dehydrated and over overeating, okay, what that does is it, it produces a ton of free radicals. And free radicals cause illness throughout your body. It causes inflammation. So you're overtraining, you're overeating. What what we need to do is not get too high and not get too low. So you need to perform responsible exercise. That's why I love IROC Fitness because the workouts that we do have a lot of volume. There's We only go up to 30-pound kettlebells. We use TRXs. We use treadmills in the classes. It's a one-hour workout, but it's not fast. It, it, you're not working out aggressively hard. It's just movement. And you can take your time with exercise when you are exercising at the right time of the day when your body is in the right state of metabolism. So when you exercise with a heart rate between 110 and 140 beats per minute, it's kind of known as fat burning zone. It's true. Uh, your body does use more fat, especially when you keep that heart rate consistent for an hour, your body is really going to use a lot of fat as energy, but you got to be in the right state with sugar. So just stop eating two to three hours before you go to bed. And, and I, and I have these rules. So like I've got rules, I got rules for my day. So like my rules right here, rule number one is two hours. So, so two hours, like I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to eat two hours before bed. And then however long I go after I wake up, I just, I just measure out that time. And I, I, I at least go 12 hours a day and I always get my workout while I'm in my fast. I mean, I love exercising. I'll, I'll on the weekends, I'll run at five o'clock at night. But when, when, you know, when I'm in my work week and when I'm in my routine, my workout's going to be in the morning before I consume calories. And that helps me maintain my weight. It also helps me feel really good. It energizes me for my day. Sometimes I'm hungry in the morning before I even exercise but throughout my exercise routine, I feel completely fine. A lot of people believe that they get lightheaded and dizzy because they're hungry. But the, the fact of the matter is, is that you're getting lightheaded and dizzy because your glycogen, your, 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 blood, your blood glucose has been so up and down all day from eating foods that are high in sugar. And then, you're, and then, you, and then it goes down and then boom, you hit a workout while, you're, while your blood sugar is going down from this high point. What I do is I've, I've, I've stabilized my glycogen so it's nice and stable. So I'm, I'm exercising and I'm living and I'm thinking on this level where most people are way up here 
and then they and then they start to get normal again and then they eat food and then it goes back up here again and they get normal and then normal is down here. Yeah. This is where most of America is living. Yep. And they're eating bagels and everything like that throughout the day to stabilize that high. But what you want to do is, is detox out of that. And, and that's what the fasting does. It gets you to the stability point. And then if you eat responsibly and exercise well throughout the day, you keep it, right, Amy? Exactly. You're speaking my language. That's exactly yeah. how I describe those blood sugar highs and lows to my patients. And, mm -hmm. and Matt, if you get someone in that's, that comes to you in the morning for a workout and has that low blood sugar, that actually is a big red flag that they might be insulin resistant, walking their way to type two diabetes because their blood sugar is on such a roller coaster through the day. You should actually in the morning, because there's something called the cortisol awakening response, you should actually have a little bit higher of a glucose, aka blood sugar in the morning than you do throughout the day. So if you're hitting the gym in the morning and you crash, that's because of what you've done the day before and the day before that, the day before that, you are on this high and low roller coaster of your blood sugar and you need mm. to get that under control because you shouldn't be lightheaded during a fasted workout. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've a lot of our clients, um, they report if they eat if they eat sugars they're really or food they're really high in sugar too uh, close to the time they go to bed, they um, have really poor sleep. They wake up a few times a night. Yep. Um, and then they also just don't feel quite right the next day. I found my, my sugar intake is, is, is low to moderate in the evening and I eat a lot of healthy foods. Um, I feel less hungry in the morning. Whereas the opposite, if you, if you eat a lot of sugar uh, before bed, like say I have like a big stir fry or pasta at eight o'clock at night, yeah. um, the next day at six in the morning, I'll find myself to be really, really hungry. And that's all just blood sugar. It, yeah. it just really, really throws you all off. It's best to keep your, your blood sugar stable and low. Uh, and I wouldn't even call it low. It's just stable where it should be for a human. Um, so we can move back and forth from burning fat and, and sugar throughout the day. Your body likes to do that. It just kind of bounces back and forth and it creates a nice equilibrium. Exactly. And for those who are, maybe you're sitting there saying, oh, well, I've already been di diagnosed insulin resistant, or I am type two diabetic, even more reason to get those blood sugars under control and to exercise in the morning, because that's going to give you more glucose regulation. That's going to give you more of a nice wave like pattern mm -hmm. and a better balance throughout the day. You should not be waking up hungry in the morning. And that's another red flag too. And I know I've done it to myself too, Matt. I've, I've, I've overeaten the day before, ate a lot of carbs or ate a lot of sugar or, or even alcohol that contains sugar and carbs. And you do that. And yes, not only does it disturb your sleep, but you do, you find that you are famished in the morning, almost to the point where you're like, what is happening? That's not me. I'm not normally mm -hmm. this hungry in the morning. You should be able to wake up and go a few hours without putting food into your body. If your body's giving you a hunger signal, that's another signal to maybe look at what is your blood sugar doing. Yep. And that, that, the, the whole reason why we did this today is, is to help people in our network understand what is working. So here's what I know. What is working? Eating windows works. Yep. Uh, 12 hours off, 12 hours on works. 13 hours off, you know, 11 hours on works. 14 and 10 works. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to learn more <clears throat> about intermittent fasting, I mean, Amy is definitely the person to go to finding the right plan for you. Here at IROC Fitness, we encourage our new members to understand the principles. And, and if you want to lose weight, exercising in the morning on a fast after not eating two hours before bed works. If you want to lose five pounds in 21 days, exercising in the morning works and you will be more consistent with it. So at IROC, we have a 6 a.m. class. We have an 8 a.m. class. We have a 930 a.m. class. So if you go to bed at 11 o'clock at night, stop eating at nine o'clock and go to the IROC 9 a.m. 930 class and then eat right when you're done with the workout, have a, have a packet of oatmeal, and then a few hours later, have a salad, keep it real basic. And we'll set you up on what we've set up some of it, so many of our clients on. Um, here at IROC, in order to chart your progress, we use MyZone. So this is the scale that you stand on. And the MyZone scale is really great because it has a free app. If you guys actually want to download the app now, it's, it's MyZone from your app store. And you guys can replay this, but our, our location code for IROC Fitness is I R U S or no I I R I R F U S zero zero one. Say that again, Matt. I'll post I'll post in the comments section right now. I R F yeah, yeah I R F U S 
0.001. And then when it asks you for your belt ID, just put in all zeros and make sure that you um, put on the unit of measure Imperial. So this is a, this is a, uh, a screenshot of my phone, my, my stuff right here. So you can see the line way up here, that red line, and then it went down below that line there. That's when I started doing intermittent fasting. So I was like 225 pounds, and then I started doing intermittent fasting, and then I went all the way down to like 195 pounds. And for me, six feet tall, and I'm not, I'm not like bodybuilding anymore. I just really do high intensity interval training and boxing and stuff. I really should be at about 190 pounds. And, and that's when I can see um, my core and I feel good and I can fit into clothes off the rack, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. So this is the great thing about the MyZone scale. It gives you all of these numbers, which you guys are probably not be able to see at all. Yeah, there we go. Hey. So you see that big number right in the middle there, that 1905? Yep. That is my resting metabolic rate. So that's how many calories I can burn um, per day without exercise. So when you become a member at IROC, we do all of this for you. Stand on the scale. We tell you how many calories you, you should be eating per day. We tell you, we teach you about caloric deficit. We recommend and prescribe the right amount of classes for you per week. And we're just hooked up. We have all that going on. And then we have our 21 day challenge. So throughout 21 days, you, you come in for your classes, you perform better nutrition, you pay attention to your measurements, you, you watch cool like webcasts and stuff like that from Amy and you find out how to eat better, maybe get some consulting about nutrition from Amy. And if you can combine education and great workout experiences with proper living, there is no reason why you can't be in as good a shape as the person, the guy, gal, you know, who's the same age as you, who's in super good shape. The only difference between you and them is that they have figured out what works for them and they're living it. And, and you're on your way to doing that. But at IROC, we like to move people along fast. We want to get our members results and we want them to get results now. So that's why we do the MyZone scale. That's why we get the very first day we, we teach you about the fasting, the scale, everything. And it's been a really, really great year. I mean, over the past year, we've helped so many people lose weight and take control of their lives and their routine. And it's true, a, 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 a phenomenal uh, workout program and good timing for your nutrition and your workouts can change your life. It really it, it can. Be, and you guys can care. You mm -hmm. care. You know, that's, mm -hmm. that's what sets you apart. I think is your program is comprehensive and you actually care about your members to hold their hand and take them through this and spend the time with them. So I think that really sets you apart from everyone else. It really does. Thank you. It, it, and I mean, we are, it, it is an intimate environment and it's connected to fitness. You, so you have every, you, you have, you have the pool, you have the fitness club, you have, you know, you have babysitting, anything that you need in order to get your workout in. And it's, I rock fitness is huge. It's the old racquetball area at fitness. You, and we have, you know, 350 plus members and um, you know, 40 classes a week. So in case you guys are wondering if you haven't been out yet, since the, the COVID thing happened, we, we cut our classes in half. There's six foot distances between each of our stations. Our room is like 4,000 square feet. It's the largest indoor workout area in Erie for group fitness. And the ceilings are 25 feet high. There's tons of circulation and you have your own equipment. We have sanitization all over the place and you're really going to feel comfortable here. So if you're looking for a solution now, I'd say, you know, Amy is, a, is an incredible resource locally for, for, for nutrition health, anything you need, just give her a call. She's so fun to work with. And then when it comes down to fitness, get involved in a program where you can book in for classes. If it's here with us at IROC Fitness, if it's at Erie Fitness Academy, where, wherever it is closest to where you live, typically is going to work out the best for you. The YMCA, the, 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 the Glenwood, the East Side, wherever to book in for classes. And if you don't like the classes, if you're like, you know, make the drive to go somewhere that's really me, then do it. But Find somewhere that's convenient and and tell the trainers, tell your coaches what's up and, and be like, look, I'm ready to go. Write me out a program. When should I eat? When should I not eat? And, and just commit to it for a week or two. And once you lose five or 10 pounds, you're going to want to keep it going. You're not oh, going to want to. So, stop, true. You so know? true. Yeah. So you, you can do it. But the, the, the eating window thing has been huge. And, and it, it is in every it's a lifestyle thing. Just in case anyone's wondering, it's a question I get all the time. It's not a five day a week thing. This is 12 hours every day. Every day I let my body detox. 
and and I give my I give my microbiomes, my stomach, my GI an opportunity to recover with me while I sleep at night. Yep. And and I feel like a million bucks. So and that's coming from a guy who owns fitness clubs now for over 10 years. And I wasn't doing things right for nine of them. You know, I was I was I was kind of doing what was, you know, I thought was right. And and I never really quite felt like consistent. And this is it. This has been the best thing. That's huge. So accountability, I mean, th and this goes for, let me mention, many of my viewers are out of state, some of them are out of the country. So not only are we talking to local Erie PA viewers, but for everyone, this is this is information you can take home and it will change your life. So accountability is a big one. Like you said, your rule, don't eat two hours before you go to bed. And for my thyroid patients, that's a big one because some of them are taking medication before they go to bed. So they need to stop eating. So that's a great all around rule, no matter who you are and where you are. And mm -hmm. then morning workouts for sure, practice some intermittent fasting. And then do you want to tell people, I know we're sorry for the people that are out of state, but do you want to tell people about the IROC challenge and the offer that you're giving people today that we posted up in the description? Yeah. So please visit the IROC fitness uh, website. If you guys have any information, questions that you want from me, we have forms on our site. There's a video right when you pop on, you can see what the IROC workout is all about. If you're, if you're, if you're wondering about it, um, if you're out of state, if you're out of the area, there are so many great options. Um, Orange theory, fitness cycle bar, you know, local fitness clubs have great programs. If, you know, there's some, there's some box studios like CrossFit box places and learn something new for sure. I mean, if you learn to start swimming and you just meet with a swim coach three days a week and you swim in the pool for 30 minutes laps, you're going to lose weight. Um, now is the time where you want to pick up something new, go someplace new, challenge yourself, buy a new pair of shoes, buy new workout gear, invest. Now is the time. Oh, yeah. to invest. I'd invest, I'd encourage you to invest hundred dollars this month in a new a new workout shirt and and a new fitness club membership and and just get in there and do something new get excited about doing it. Yep. But I Rock Fitness is um you know is at Fitness U and Level Red Boxing is at Iron Oxygen Fitness and with both of those places when you become a member you can go to the gyms for free and we have great staff we have instructors in every class and the programs are all untouchable. There's nothing you can do that's anything close to like what we're offering. And that's why so many people go to our places. So, um, but yeah, that's I rock fitness and, and everything, but I'm a, I'm a huge fitness advocate. I think it's all good. So that's what you guys are going to want to reach out for and use us as a resource. If you want to message us on the I rock fitness, you can go to info at I rock fitness .com or just fill out our form and we'll answer any questions that you have, but we have our 21 day link shared on this mm -hmm. and it's 21 bucks. So you come in, you, you call us first or we call you, you fill out the form and then we set you up with your first workout time. You can't beat that 21 days for $21. And the, the results that you've seen alone with your clients are absolutely phenomenal. I, I don't know who wouldn't take advantage of that. If you're local, if you lose five pounds in 21 days, you get 50% off any of our stuff. You can, you know, if you, if you lose five pounds in 21 days, you get 50% off a punch card or you can get 50% off a full month membership. So it, it, it gives you some motivation going into it just to save some money and you know, yeah. it's cool. That is great motivation. And so to pair up with your offer, I created one for myself too. This only lasts for seven days. It's getting pulled down next Monday, June 27th or July 27th. And it is a 20 minute consult with me for $20. So we have that link above right next to the IROC link and you can click on that and fill out the form and pay and I will contact you to schedule your 20 minute consultation. Maybe you just need to, to get some advice on how to actually do a 12 or 14 or a 16 hour fast. Maybe mm -hmm. you, you let me know that, you know what, aim what you talked about on there. Yep. I'm hungry in the morning. Nope. I get lightheaded when I work out in the morning and that's not good. So maybe we just get you started, get that ball rolling to pair everything together. So mm -hmm. it works together, the mm -hmm. nutrition, the workout, changing your mm -hmm. life. Yeah. It's just, you're one day away. I mean, really don't wait till next Monday. You're, you're one great workout. You're, you're one connection away from feeling like you, you can do it and the empowerment that it takes to feel confident about going to a place. I rock fitness is for any age. You can be, you can be 12 years old to 70 years old and work out at I rock. We've, we, we have, and have had all those ages. You can have minor injuries. You can be overweight. Um, you, you can be a little overweight. You can be at the weight that you're, that you're at. 
can have a lot of muscle, a little muscle, be strong, be weak, anything. I rock is for everybody. So it's a full body workout and it teaches you how to exercise too. And it's high energy. So I, I don't want anybody out there to go one more day feeling like I rock is something that it's obscure or not for them. It's for everybody. Everybody should be at I rock. There's no doubt. So I look forward to hearing from you guys. Yeah. It's, I'm glad you mentioned that. Cause I, I know a lot of people are, are intimidated um, because of the amount of, you know, CrossFit boxes that we see out there, which, which is great. Uh, but I, I think people are intimidated to go because they think it's going to be all these huge athletes that are, you know, ripped and shredded. And it's like, no, it's everybody. Everybody is there. You will fit in. Yeah. The, if you just watch the video on our website, you'll see the variety of people that we have in. And I think you'll, you'll, you'll see that we have guys, girls, young, old, you know, it's for everybody. Everyone loves it. So really look forward to seeing everyone who's been on this and hearing from you questions. I'd love to answer your questions. So just let us know and we're here to help. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for jumping on, taking the time just to give some people some really good nuggets of advice. So even if you're watching the replay on this, the offer still stands. They're in the, in the description above. And like Matt said, reach out, ask questions. And even if you post questions below in the comments section, I will forward them on to Matt as well. Yep. So we have, you can um, definitely hook, tag, you know, if you guys have any questions, message us on Facebook or Instagram. Yep. And then every Sunday morning um, on WSCE and ICU with the healthy living, WSCE and ICU is doing a ton of stuff with healthy living all, all week long. And I'm on their show Sunday mornings at eight. So if you watch the local news on SCE and ICU, every week I come to, I, I, I come up with a brand new, um, topic, something that can really help keep people, people creative and motivated about their exercise. And in iron oxygen coming up, we have a, um, we have a one mile club. So you're going to basically run one mile a day every day in August. And if that's, that's going to be 31 miles, that might be more miles than many people have ever ran in one month, but it's just one mile a day. It could take seven minutes, could take 10 minutes, could take 13 minutes. You can walk it, you can run it. But if you perform one mile every day and tag iron oxygen fitness on Instagram, um, if you do that 31 days in a row, you get a free month to iron oxygen. If you're not already a member, if you are, we comp you a free month. That's, That's all awesome. part of our August promotion. And then with the, my zone heart rate monitors, which we have to go along with the scale, we have a 3000 MEP challenge. So, um, as a member, a lot of our members buy these heart rate monitors and you get points. If you get 3000 points in the month of August, you win like a brand new, uh, t-shirt tank top thing that we have releasing in August. So, a lot of crazy stuff going on, but now is the time you want to get in. It's nice and calm. It's the summertime. Not a lot of people use the clubs in the summer. Right. And then you get like, you know, you meet us and everything like that before like the busier time of the year comes around like the winter time and stuff like that. That is fantastic. Those are a lot of offers, a lot of deals. I, I would be amazed if people don't take advantage of them. So thank you for sharing all of that Matt, and, and sharing thank you, your knowledge. Thanks so much. You all guys right. have a great day. Thanks for watching. We'll answer your questions after the fact. Oh, are we going to answer right now? Are we going to do Q&A? You know what? Nobody posted questions. So what I'll do is once this posts to Facebook, if people have questions, they're watching afterwards. Maybe they're out in the in the nice weather right now because we're having some gorgeous weather in Erie right now um, after a huge rainstorm yesterday. So if they post questions afterwards, I will tag you or forward them on to you. So feel free to ask questions even after this live post, and we will definitely get back to you. All right, guys. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.